This is Marco Wu from eProgrammer.com. I'm going to talk about how can we um, draw a very simple shape in AutoCAD. In this tutorial, I'm going to use line command to draw this star. So how can we do it? Now, we can have a couple ways to do to, to use the line command. One, one way is press this icon, the left upper icon under the home tab. The other way, which I prefer, is just type L. Type L and then press enter. You will see uh, this pop up, okay? 4.331. Now, how can I change from the X coordinate to Y coordinate? How can I enter the Y coordinate? It is a comma, 2.5. So what it happened is, you can see, I have a point in here. But right now you see like if I circle around the points, uh, it only like have 90 degrees, 0 degrees, uh, 180 degrees. The reason is I have this, this perpendicular mode on. So I turn it off. Basically you can see I can, I can have like any degrees. You can enter the length in here and then enter the angle, but I'm going to do it in the other way. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to provide you the second coordinate. How can I input a coordinate in here? Okay, we are going to enter the pound sign, which is shift three. You have the lumbar, lumbar key on top of your keyboard, on your keyboard, and you press shift and three. You see the pound sign? Okay, that is absolute coordinate. So after coordinate, what is the coordinate I want you to input? Yes, minus 4.331. Okay, now you see there is 85. 85 in here. What that means is, it's supposed to be, you're supposed to input a relative coordinate. Minus 4.331 is uh, something like um, the length, but you want to actually the coordinate, not the length and the angle, not the polar coordinate. So what you do is, Press comma. Okay, now you're going to input the y coordinate. The y coordinate, I will keep it at 2.5. Okay, now you see there is a line in here, a horizontal line. Okay, so the second coordinate I'm going to put is pound zero comma minus five. Okay, so I, I have another point in here, okay? Now I'm supposed to go back to here. Well, what we need to do basically is move our mouse there and have a left kick and then right kick, kick and on the left kick well if you want to do this if you want to uh, um, make sure like those two are touch each other the thing you need to do is make sure this object slab is on okay so how can we oh well so just now what I did is I use abstract coordinate and also use the object slab to finish this inverse triangle. Now we are going to do another triangle. We are going to put this coordinate. First of all, we are going to use L, which is L command, line command. Okay. Uh, the first coordinate point is four on three three one. Okay, well, because that is the first point, the first point is always be actual coordinate. Comma, um, 2.5. Uh, 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 minus 2.5, I'm sorry. Okay, so you see there is a point in here now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to enter the second point. The second point is, um, pound, Zero comma five. Okay, so you see there is this point in here. We are going to enter another point, which is pound minus four point three three one comma minus two point five. Enter. Since we have the um, object slap on, so we can just move it in here. You see the green. Um, square okay left kick move the line out of there use the right kick 
slap end. So you you finish with this uh, simple star, and that's just the basic line command you use and finish this star.